You're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday in the upset tonight at the Carrier Dome, Georgia Tech 67 and number seven, Syracuse 62. Great to be with Dan Bonner on a Tuesday night. And boy, the Jackets executed very well here tonight in winning this ball game. They really played well. And I thought a big key was the fact, particularly in the second half when Syracuse turned up the pressure, Georgia Tech simply didn't turn it over. Well, they finished the game with only nine against a team that coming in led the league in turnover margin. Well, you know the story. Syracuse had lost three of their last four. They were playing with a lot of emotion as we go to the highlights tonight. And the headline senior was C.J. Fair, and he had a great night, equaled his career high with 20. Well, he sure did have a great night. He started out very quickly and then was disappeared for a while in that first half. But in the second half, he really roared back, made 12 field goals in the game, two of them from beyond the three-point arc, finished with 28 points. Tyler Ennis was about his only help. Ennis finished with 18. He also made two threes. But other than that, Syracuse could get very little going offensively. And as a result, they struggled. They only scored 62 points tonight, so their offensive woes continue. Now, for Georgia Tech, Trey Golden, he finished the game for, Syri for Georgia Tech at the free throw line, making eight free throws. He finished with 16 points, but I thought his biggest contribution was simply his toughness. He just didn't give up the ball. And talk about toughness. How about Daniel Miller? He finished the game with 15 points. He had six rebounds. He had six blocked shots. He had four assists. He had two steals. He had no turnovers. That is one heck of a line for the big man for Georgia Tech. Well, and you look at the final numbers and all the particulars aside, the bench points with Jeremy Grant sideline with the back injury. Georgia Tech got 17 bench points. Syracuse only got four. And again, Syracuse, uh, Syracuse was not able to force turnovers. Georgia Tech did a great job taking care of the basketball. It was a great game plan. By the way, the Orange under 45% again as Dan Bonner got a chance to catch up with Daniel Miller. All right, Daniel, first of all, congratulations. Georgia Tech, a great effort tonight. What was the key? Uh, uh, just getting back up again. You know, we've, we've lost a lot of games, and we just try to keep fighting. And uh, we had a pretty good game plan, and, you know, we executed. Well, now talk about that game plan a little bit. It looked like you guys did a very good job moving the ball. You, in particular, were a key to that. Uh, yes, sir. You know, we tried to keep a big man, you know, uh, at the free throw line towards the middle the whole game. Uh, we got, a, we got some big guys that can really shoot. I thought Cam and Rob did a good job, and, you know, that draws the defense, hit other guys for open shots. Now, they had a tough time scoring the ball around the basket. You blocked six shots. What was the key to that? Um, they got big, long guys, and they're used to just going up with it, and that's one of my things is playing defense. So, you know, for three years, that's been my role, and finally this year I got a little offense in me. Well, congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's a five-point win for Georgia Tech, 67-62. Jackets to Atlanta on Saturday to host Virginia Tech. Syracuse at Florida State. You're watching the ACC Digital Network brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.